Hey guys, Jester Rock here, and we are in Ark Survival Evolved. Okay, for those of you who haven't seen me play before, just a quick little rundown. I do play on my own personal server. Um, I'm predominantly a solo player. Every now and then, my wife Vale will jump in and play with me as well. Uh, yeah, yeah, that'll do me. Looks like me, except I've got way more beard and hair. But yeah, create new survivor. Okay, um, being a custom server, I, and I, uh, as I said, solo player, I have changed a lot of the stats in games to just sort of to accommodate for the way that I play. Um, we're running at a difficulty of 500%, although I think oh, it works out to 499.99 is what it actually registers as, but anyway. Um, I'm going to head over to where I want to actually start my base and stuff. Uh, what else did I do? Uh, basic changes that have been made. Nothing is going to eat me just here. Nope, wonderful. Um, taming speed has been sped up quite considerably. Um, doo -doo -doo. Experience is doubled. What else? Um, oh, and I have added a heap of custom levels. You've got all the standard levels that you would have in a game normally. Ooh, monkey over there. Bigfoot, I should say. Okay, and what I've done is for player characters as well as for all the critters. Ooh, crap. Oh. Um. Plus 200 level, like, increase to 200 levels. So, characters can get to level 200, obviously, and tamed critters can get to whatever their tame level is, plus 200. Don't go thinking we're going to hit that anytime soon, though. Uh, we're talking about many, 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 many billions upon billions upon billions upon billions of experience points. Let's get some stuff collected. So, yeah, it's not, not going to be a case of... You know, just becoming ridiculously OP super fast. Yeah. A few bits and pieces. Yeah, I like around here. We'll set up our initial sort of base around here somewhere. Might do a starting point, sort of just here. And then we might look at building our main base over at the wall over there. I don't know. We'll figure something out anyway. Oh, wrong button. Uh, what else? I feel like there's something else I should be pointing out. I don't know. There probably is. Okay. Um, I'm not going to be doing much editing. Let's tack onto weight. Basically, if I die, you'll see me die. Um, oh, custom recipes I've enabled as well. Never used it before and thought, what the hoozy? Might as well give it a try. The idea of, you know, at least being able to cook or prepare custom sort of foods and whatnot was slightly appealing. Uh, yeah. Yeah, probably, probably going to aim for like an episode to a day sort of thing. We are going to get episodes that are predominantly grindy, but that's just the nature of the game. Oh, I keep hitting the wrong button. I've been playing a whole heap of different games lately. Um, oh, I need more thatch again, sod it. Yeah, I've been playing a whole heap of different games lately and I keep getting all my controls confused. I'm gonna do it again. Okay, let's craft ourselves an axe, torch. We get a spear gun, and we're gonna need more. Repair you while I can. Okay, so we're gonna need a bit more wood. We're gonna need a lot more of a lot of things, actually. Ding again, there we go. 
Um, clothes. We don't want to be running around naked all the time. Or at least I don't want me running around naked all the time. What else? Okay. A bit more spears. I don't know, at the end of the day, I'm like, sort of hoping people can take you know, something new or whatever out of my series, but on the same note, I'm not really doing it as yeah, what's it there? an instructable type thing or anything like that. I'm just going to get in, play, yeah. I'll go periods of times where I forget to talk. That's just me. I'm not a big talker, generally. Buttons, buttons, wrong buttons. I want one more spear. We're gonna need more fiber. Let's go dump this wood in the fire pit. Uh, oh, that's another one. The Alpha Beasties. Um, I don't know, solo play, there's really no place for those Alphas um, in one of my games. I, th I was going to just take them out entirely, but instead what I've done is turn them essentially into, uh, you know, rarely, rarely a curling, a curling? Rarely occurring walking loot crates is basically what they're gonna be. Couldn't fight their way out of a paper bag, one shot to kill sort of creatures. That being said, obviously they will still boost the stats of everything around them. Well, on carnivores around them and whatnot. Um Okay, so we got all the clothing. We'll start learning the found, uh, the thatch building materials very shortly. I don't tend to use thatch. Um, <clears throat> ah, a bit of a croaky throat there. Yeah, I don't tend to use thatch for building at all, um, unless I find thatch floating around, like in one of the loot drops or something. If I find a bit of thatch, I might use it. But otherwise, yeah, I don't. I don't see the point. Now I am starting in a fairly temperate zone, uh, west 2, so for the first night I'm not going to bother at all, honestly, about having um, any sort of base set up, or any sort of building I should say set up. Think of it as our first night on the island and we are camping. You do do, I need your meats and your hides. Okay, boots. Um. One thing I do see a lot of um, new players to the game and stuff tend to do is they forget to alternate between tools. You know, you think, oh yeah, I want to build out of wood, so they don't collect too much thatch. Yeah, and one thing I've learnt in this game is you never have enough of anything. Okay, eight points, so we'll grab the sleeping bag. Uh, I probably should have grabbed the storage box then, actually, but that's alright. We'll grab that next level. There we go. We're gonna dump our wood in the fire pit again. Okay. I'm gonna use this immediate area for dumping stuff. Just for now. 
get rid of the Tintos, and then my... We've got water nearby, so we'll keep the Stimberries, because we'll probably use them a bit. We can get more poop. Mijo Berries and Narco Berries are the only ones I really tend to focus on. Uh, one thing I like about this particular area as well, actually let's remove that marker from an old game. So you can see I'm down the bottom left hand side. Um, one thing I do like about down here, besides the fairly temperate environment, uh, hopefully you can see it in the water, we've got oil in pretty much this immediate spot. Oil. You notice you tend to get quite a few trilobites around here as well, which is nifty. Gives us access to a bit more oil again, as well as um, silica pearls and chitin, 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 whatever the heck you want to call it. What level are you, Mr. Turtle? Yep, nope. Live and let live. I do need to knock out another dodo. There we go. Ask and it provides. Yeah. Okay, and there's another one around here because that one was partnered up. There. Yep, there goes one of my spears. Oh, and another one. Another two. Lovely. Um, okay. Just rubber banded itself to who knows where. I don't know. Anyway, you get that in early access games. I'm going to say, of all the early access games I've ever played, this has definitely got to be one of the most um, sort of advanced, polished, etc. Hmm, need to do some eatings. Okay. Now let's see. What am I missing? Need more fiber. Make a sleeping bag. Sleeping bags are good, they work as a respawn point. Um, but they're only a single use respawn point. So just remember if you do happen to inadvertently get yourself dead, you will have to make another one and put it down again. As I said, we are camping tonight though, so sleeping bag is enough. Let's get some more fiber. Okay. Craft. Dump some more stuff. Lovely. What else do we need? I'm gonna replace that broken spear. And we'll repair these while we're here. Okay, um, as a general thing as well, I don't tend to go, like, obviously we're in cloth clothing at the moment. Hide comes next. I really don't tend to go above that. Um, not until I really, really need to, which tends to be not anytime soon. So let's drop a few things. Drop you. We'll drop you. The two heaviest things in my inventory. What have we got? 10 minute decomp time on them, so that's plenty. 
Go get some more resources. Basically, we just want to ding one more time just so we've got access to building these storage boxes. Oh, respawn radius. Respawn radius for dinosaurs, well, critters in general, obviously, as well as for resources, has been decreased, which means things will spawn a lot closer to my base once I have a base, obviously. And the respawn timer has been decreased. No, with the, there we go, got my level. With the exception of the difficulty, as I said, which has been jacked up to 500%, it sort of sounds a bit like I'm making it easier for myself across the board, but I'm really not. There's a lot of smaller changes um, that I've made. There we go, we'll grab a storage box. And we will grab the slingshot. I don't use the slingshot, but it is the prerequisite for the bow. There we go. Yeah, it sounds like I've made things a lot easier for myself. I really haven't. There's lots of smaller changes I've made that'll make things a lot more difficult for me in the long run. We want six of these to begin with. Start placing these down. There we go. Grab you. Uh, might put hide in that box for now as well. Seeds and keepable berries. How are you going, Mr. Fire? So I can take that out now. The charcoal does, like, is useful, uh, making all your paints and stuff like that. So it is worth holding on to. That there, which means we can get rid of those berries. And we don't need that much wood in there. And you can be wood. Okay, regarding being cold, being hot, etc. Um, actually, we'll move over here a bit. Okay, you can see it's just sort of a snowflake looking image. Um, if that's all you've got on screen, I don't tend to worry too much about it, not until you get the ice cube if you've got really anything to worry about. And if you're too hot, if it's a tiny little sort of fiery looking bit, you're right, it's fine. If you've got a big raging fireball, then you worry about going and finding somewhere cooler. But that's me. Not trying to tell anybody how to play, that's just how I do. Okay, well, there we go. What time is it? Okay, we've got 10 o'clock. I'm pretty much going to wrap it up there for this episode. Um, yeah, I'll probably start recording at around the I don't know, 6 or 7 a.m. mark. And what I'll do in the meantime is basically just run around and start harvesting all the resources from this immediate area. That's probably how I'm going to play out the first few episodes at least. Um, I'll record during the daylight hours in game and then, yeah, sort of pause the recording and just do some resource grinding of a night. Yeah, it sounds like a plan. I really want that Bigfoot. I like the big feet. 
So anyway, this is Jester Ark, and we are in Ark Survival Evolved. Please feel free to hit those buttons of appreciation and friendliness down the bottom. And feel free to comment as well, let me know what you think, and if you want to see more. I'm going to be doing more either way, so... But, I'd like to hear an opinion or two now and then. Anyway, we'll see you guys next time, and thanks for watching.